things that need to happen. <laughs> yes, there's some technical things. Perhaps if you give me the thumbs up when we're, we're all set to go. Right, so could I, could I have um, our representative from the Christchurch Youth Council and um, I'm going to deal with um, item 57 on the agenda first, which is the memorandum of understanding between the Christchurch City Council and the Christchurch Youth Council. And I'm going to embarrass myself by not recalling the name of... Um, sorry, Claire, could you, could you introduce... Um, Yourself. Yeah, Yourselves, certainly. yes. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Claire Phillips from the Strengthening Communities team, citywide. I'd like to interview, uh, introduce Laura Hartwell, who's the coordinator of the Christchurch Youth Council, and she's here representing the youth councillors who are unable to make it today for various reasons of study and work and other obligations. So Laura's here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I've... Um, and I'd also kind of like to acknowledge um, councillors Johansson, Gough, Cotter and Lonsdale who were tasked with developing this memorandum of understanding and, and reporting back to council. And I think that um, um, having read the memorandum of understanding, it's, a, it, it, it's actually a great model um, for uh, collaborative um, decision making and working in an open and transparent manner. So I, I, I love the concept and I... Um, and in many respects, I'm pleased that the first of these is with the Youth Council, um, because uh, you'll be leading the way, I think, for the for the for other relationships that we would want to have on a, on a similar basis. It makes it feel like a, a partnership rather than a mere stakeholder Absolutely. relationship. Yeah. So, um, so I, on that basis, I would personally like to move the um, staff recommendation, and Yani would like to second it. And um, I'll open it up for any questions, or, and if there's no questions, we'll move straight into the debate. No questions? Yanni, would you like to? Yeah. Hmm. Thank you. Um, just stand for this one. Um, well, I think it's really important to recognise that the council used to have a youth council. Um, many years ago, it was separated from the council. It was uh, independent, and it's been through a lot of... Um, transitional phases and never quite settled down. It's only just of recent times that it's kind of got settled, which is a real testament to the work of some young people in our city. In fact, one of them, Hamish Kewen, was mm. recognised last night with a Civic Award. Uh, so this is, I, I, I concur with what the Mayor's saying, that I like the idea of having uh, MOUs with groups that actually talk about how we engage and how we relate and actually gives a commitment to working with these groups um, and you can see in this one it actually makes reference to funding, which I think is incredibly important. Mm. Um, because one of the risks for the Youth Council is, of course, not having certainty of funding means it's quite difficult year on year to plan. So actually putting in a three-year funding um, as part of this, I think, is, is really important. Uh, and it's match funding, so that ties in again to what Council's aiming to do with community groups, to really encourage community groups uh, to generate their own um, funds, but also work in partnership with us. So this is, um, for me, really exciting because I actually started on the Christchurch City Youth Council many, mm. many years ago um, and went on to community board and then went on to council. And I think it's really important to have a really good youth council in our city. It gives not only young people a chance to participate, but it's also about developing young people into different roles. So many of the people I, on, I was on the youth council with went on to do really amazing things for the city and for New Zealand and, and some of them internationally. And it's that youth development and youth participation that is so important, I think, to adding to why Christchurch is such a good place to, to live and good place to stay. And of course, we want to attract young people in our city. We want them to develop here and we want them to contribute. So with that being said, I really support this MOU. Thank the staff and the Youth Council for the work that they've done on getting us to this stage. Uh, I think this is a really positive step forward. Thank you. Thank you. I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. It's carried unanimously. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Right, now we'll move on to the... Um,